right, is everyone ready for this? Um, we've got Dr. Wakefram coming in. I've got my questions ready. Is he here yet? We're going live in less than a minute. Is he here? Where is he? Oh, we're going to have to get someone in. Um, what's that work experience kid called? Yeah, he'll do. Get him in. Um, they'll just have to fake it. There he is. What's your name? Joe. Okay. Um, do you, have you read the the research from Dr. Waitram? No. We're, we're going to have to make this up. Well, you, well the people watching aren't going to know. Where's Mark? Forget it. Right. Okay, we're going live in five, four, three. Uh, we're here with uh, Dr. Waitram, who's found a cure for instinctive thrombosis in cats um, during research for a reducing agent for kidney stones. Good morning, Dr. Waitram. Good morning. Um, right, thank you for coming in. Um, I'll start with my questions, if that's all right. Okay. Just say yes. Um, okay. So you you came across the cure for instinctive thrombosis in cats while you were developing a reducing agent for kidney stones. Um, how did your research help you to sell the treatment to vets in the UK? Uh, is is that what you were looking for with uh, with your research for fame? Yeah. It's a remarkable story. Uh, when did your team realise they were on to something that big? Um, uh, the, the skin cancer and the when we started, and um, um, I gave them the plans. They went straight ahead. They they quit, so I had to do it on my own. Incredible. So, so you did all the research by yourself. Yeah. And uh, how has your treatment developed since then? And uh, do you consider it relevant to your original research? No. In in what way has it changed? It's changed because we were doing famous, and last time we were doing kidneys. Uh, this is the the instinctive thrombosis in cats. Yeah, is that right? That's how it's changed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, can we edit li live? Sorry. Uh, where does your department get their funding from? Is this a taxpayer funded? Organisation, or does your funding come from your sponsors? Come from sponsors. R roughly, how much do they contribute to this incredible research? Thousand pounds. Thousand. It's an incredibly tight budget. Um, with that in mind, how are the profits from your research invested? How do you spend the money? Is it on uh, further research, or or no, do you just just more towards your fame and and fortune? It's very interesting. Um, okay, with the rise in instinctive thrombosis being less aggressively present than cases of kidney stones, do you feel your sideline into the research has effectively killed two birds with one stone, or do you feel this extracurricular activity? has taken the focus from your main initiative. Well, I did shoot two birds last week in my garden. Is that, is that what you mean? Kind of. Um, uh, uh, finally, uh, uh, what other initiatives is your department currently investigating? And do you think you'll provide your first cure for humans 
anytime soon. I'm working on the cure for cancer at the moment. And uh, what sort of research have you been doing for that? Um, what cancer can do. Are you suggesting that cancer can eventually be something that humans can can use in everyday life? Like robots? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We've been here live with Dr. Waitram. Thank you for your time, Dr. Waitram. We look forward to seeing your further initiatives in the future.